Hello folks, I wanted to share with you a quick video regarding a um, homemade high current sawn off switch. Uh, I noticed on a lot of the forums that people ask questions like, you know, can I connect my electric heater to a sawn off uh, device? And the answer is usually no, because uh, an electric heater is most likely a high current uh, requirement. So um, I have put this together actually using a remote controlled um, plug which is made really to control a string of Christmas lights. I needed this for my dust collector, but um, I devised this so that if I want to, I can replace this with a sawn off and control the sawn off with Alexa, with an RF remote control, um, um, and, um, and achieve the same thing. Um, so basically, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, schematic diagram here. So as you can see, the... Um, uh, device basically is made up of a Sonoff device and a contactor. This is a 30 amp contactor. I purchased this on Amazon uh, for under $9, so very inexpensive, and it can handle, like I said, a 30 amp load. This happens to be a dual pole, uh, two pole, but this can be three poles or perhaps four poles as well. Um, so essentially, if you have a requirement to switch on and off um, high current uh, loads, this is the way to go. So essentially, the Sonoff um, very simply controls the coil of the contactor, uh, which is a low current requirement, and uh, it can then, uh, the, the contactor in turn can control a larger load. Uh, so the way this is wired up essentially consists of power coming in from your wall uh, outlet, uh, 110, and it branches off into the two poles of the contactor. Let me show you real quick here. So this is the plug, uh, power coming in from the wall. It goes into the contactor directly on each side or each pole separately. And then from the contactor, it also branches off and it goes into your controller here, which in this case would be the Sonoff switch, okay? And then the other side of the Sonoff switch is what plug uh, powers the coil of the contactor. So make, of course, make sure that the contactor has a 120 volt AC coil. And then in turn, when the contactor is closed, the in-feed side of the contactor will be connected to the out-feed side, which are wired directly to the load or the appliance in this case. So if you have an electric heater, high current electric heater or something like that, or air conditioner perhaps, uh, you can turn it on using a contactor instead of using a sonoff switch. Now, um, again, you can control the sonoff switch using Alexa, using uh, an RF remote uh, through a bridge, or you can use a sonoff RF that allows you to use the remote control uh, directly with the, uh, the sonoff basic itself instead of going through a, um, a bridge. The beauty of having a, a bridge, however, is that you can use um, any type of Sonoff device, uh, as in wall switches, um, um, Sonoff Dual, Sonoff 4 channel, and so on and so forth, Sonoff TH, and so on. Um, uh, basically, by setting up a scene in EV Link, and that allows you to, once this is uh, um, uh, programmed, to turn it on and off. All right, so uh, hopefully this was helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have fun. Bye-bye.